What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I just got an email from the game developers of Paralives sending me a link to a gameplay reveal video. Now, if you don't know what Paralives is, it is a life simulation game similar to The Sims. In my experience, I really haven't ever played a simulation game that wasn't made by The Sims. There aren't that many and there's definitely not any that have rivaled The Sims in terms of what you can do with the game. But life simulations game like The Sims there just really are no competitors. So when Paralyzed first got announced, it was very exciting to all of the Simmers. I'm pretty sure most of them are fans of the Sims. So they know what we're looking for. They know what they want. This whole game has been made possible by funding through Patreon. So this is like a really exciting game. I've definitely been following it very closely and I was honored when I saw an email come in letting me know I got an exclusive first look at the gameplay reveal. Up until now, I think I've seen like building houses and homes in the game, but I I haven't really seen someone playing the life simulation part of it with the characters. And you guys know that's kind of my bread and butter. That's my favorite part is creating stories and like hanging out with the characters. So that's what I'm wanting to see today. Let's pop in. Confirmed features for Paralyzed are life simulation mode. So an open world, small town. This is something huge that players have been asking for for The Sims 4. Advanced character creator, editor named Paramaker, Pam, aka Kaz. Advanced personalities and AI for the para folks. That's exciting. I don't know what that all means. Cats, dogs, and horses. Cars, bikes, and boats. Weather effects and seasons. This is the thing I've always said that I think that seasons should just be a base game. Apparently for Paralives, they agree with me. A simple gibberish language and one town at launch, but more worlds and world creation tool will become available at a later time. So they plan to release a world creator tool where you can create your own worlds. For build mode, there's gridless construction, snapping an optional grip to help align things, curved and straight walls of any precise length, which which is huge. Resizable, stackable, and flippable furniture. Stackable? Okay. I hope that everything goes on the shelves. I'm just dreaming of it. Boat houses you can build. You can build your house boats and you don't have to like fake it. Color wheel, pre-made swatches, and pattern customization. This is a huge one that Simmers have been asking for for The Sims 4 that is just not available for a lot of things. Pre-made houses as well as empty resizable lots, which is crazy, and terrain tools. For Paramaker, there's also gonna be that color wheel for hair, skin, eyes, clothes, and more. Skin tone color wheel. A complete list of detailed body and face sliders. Height slider, which is something I've never seen in The Sims and is always a mod. Equip any outfit regardless of paired folks' gender. Precise tattoo to mole and scar placement. So I feel like you can place it on your own. You can click on these and there's like videos of them showing all of these things, but we're not looking at that right now, okay? We're looking at the Paralives gameplay reveal. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God. Wait, the music kind of reminds me of, um, what's that game? Str Life is Strange, it's in a good way. Okay, all right, I create a sim, or I cre create a pal, the pal builder. We're gonna go with the personality. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of similar to the Sims games in the past where you kind of give certain amounts to their creativity. There's talents, okay, social perks, lifestyle vegetarian. Okay, she's in her, her world, she's obviously just moving in. Ooh, okay, she's got a big bill that she's gotta pay. So she's gotta find a job. Cute, I love all the sounds. They're very satisfying. Okay, barista, cook, and jovial manager. Oh, okay, she's not qualified for certain ones. Okay, I like all of the design of everything here. Oh, you get to upgrade. So it's not like automatically that you get upgrades or like promotions you do it yourself. So if you wanted someone to not get a promotion, then you just wouldn't. That's interesting. Aw, placing the guitar, so good. Oh, on the side, it looks like she has like wants and things to do. I wanna make a new friend. I wanna play guitar. I wanna do something fun. I need, I'm in needs are over there too. I'm not seeing her needs all laid out in one place. I wonder if they just come up thing to thing. Like it's not showing Oh, her mood's going down. Sorry, I'll stop talking so we can all watch it together. <laughs> I'm just getting excited. That's cute. She was like working on one song that is recognizable. 
Okay, she's upgrading again after day two. Oh, impact various aspects of your para's life. Okay, cool. So that job upgrade gave her more music ability. That's right, Chewie. We just select to, to talk to a group. That's actually really nice. Oh, they're all really cute. Okay. We're doing interactions to the group, the together bar fills up. Select a together card to develop relationships in the way that you want. Okay, interesting. So this is a little different from The Sims. You just start talking generally and then you unlock certain things as you go and like pick how the conversation goes. But it's not like you have to constantly be selecting new things for the conversation to keep going, I guess. Takes an hour to fill up, okay. And they do have like a speed up like t button so you could speed through time. Oh, okay. Chichi. <laughs> so cute. Friday. I want to decorate my home. No. Oh, apologize about the messy house. Wait, that's so cute. It depends on the context of the conversation. That's really cool. So like she noticed that the house she felt was messy so she could like apologize to them. That's wild. Oh, and here's, we're seeing a little bit of build mode and look at this. Oh my God, look at all this stuff you could put on. Ah! I was freaking out so much about all the stuff that you could put on that like table that I didn't even notice all the pillows on the couch. Sorry, I'm going back. Look at all this stuff on the table and all this stuff on the walls. So cute. Oh my God, it's so cozy in here. Okay, she's, oh, she, you get a personality level up too. That's fun. She got a cold. Oh, cool. They can do, so you can kind of control the group even though you're only really controlling one of the para folks. Visit various lots around the town. So on Saturday, we went to the gym. Oh my God, that literally looks like my water bottle <laughs> on the treadmill. Oh, is there an attraction system? Okay, if there's an attraction system, I'm gonna lose my mind. I want to talk to Carl. That was before she talked. I want to flirt with Carl? Wait a second. Is there an attraction? Risky flirt develops a secret crush. You can choose to develop a secret crush. That's so cute. I didn't see them like choose her attractions in like her, the the pal creator, so I'm curious, or the pal builder. I forget what the terminology, to be honest. Be, go easy on me. Oh my God, look at that ramen, it looks incredible. <gasps> impress other paras with your skills. Oh my God, we're impressing that para. Be surprised by initiatives from townies. I work at high school and we've been looking for a music teacher. Would you like the job and follow your passion? Wait, that's so cool. How does it know? What, she got a new job from him? That's really cool. It came from like a person she knew and in a relationship. Compliment hair flirty. Some cards have better odds placed on your relationship status. Ooh, okay. They had to be friends first. Attempt first kiss, oh no. Success. Yeah! <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my God, the romance. Okay, all right. Our first look at Paralives. They're just chatting away over there. Early access release in 2025 with bugs and missing features. But that's still exciting, 2025. I've noticed a lot of games releasing with bugs. I, I'm on the fence about it. Sometimes I don't really care. And sometimes I'm just like, I wish that we didn't all do that. I guess I'm not a developer. So essentially, Paralives is going to be releasing next year. They announced it. This is very exciting news. Up until now, we did not even have any update on when and where we would be receiving the game. What was disclosed to me was that early access release date is 2025. 
confirmed. And also I'm seeing on the email that they sent me, Hair Lives will never have paid DLCs, only free expansions. I love that idea. It's so exciting that there's gonna be a game where the content's just gonna be free. That I know that's a huge pressure point for a lot of simmers and rightfully so because it's very expensive to keep up with every single pack that's releasing for the Sims. I want Paralyzed to succeed. So I'm curious about like how they're going to keep the game functional and like how, how to keep getting money from the game when you're only having that one first base price for the game and then you just give free updates. Does that mean there's just gonna be less updates? But part of me wonders if it'll be kind of similar to Stardew Valley in which like he does put updates, but they're infrequent and it kind of just keeps the game relevant for new users to want to purchase the game or purchase on new platforms. The game is only going to be available for Steam, so PC and Mac, and it is going to be a single player game and does not require an internet connection. So it's not online. You don't play with, with friends. You can add it to your wishlist on Steam, but it is not available for pre-order. And there is a beta, which officially got announced, open beta 2025. So that's really exciting. Does game support user created content? Yes. So there will be user created content for Paralyzed. Players will be able to share their creations, custom content and mods through Steam Workshop. Script mods are not planned at the moment. Okay, this is exciting. No plans for console versions at the moment. Things that are not planned for the initial release, active jobs and schools. You can have jobs and schools, but you won't be going there with your para. Supernaturals and occults will not be in the game. I don't know if that means never or if it's just like upon release. So that's pretty interesting. Age rating is for teen, but there's not gonna be like super mature themes in it. They're working on optimizing the game to make it run on laptops and lower and computer specifications will become available as they get closer to the alpha version of the game. I'm assuming they're still not quite there yet. And you can join the Discord community and have a special channel for suggestions and ideas for the game. So that's really cool. I love that it's like very, community focused and base. Okay, let's just like dive into like all the things that we've noticed. So we saw a lot of like how jobs and careers kind of worked, the needs and wants, I think. Relationships, the kind of the personality system and doing group interactions. Those are the main big things that we got to look at. I'm definitely seeing some of this open world concept that we can go into this cafe. I'm assuming we can't go into every location on this route, but I think we can talk to all of these paras. We can see that's her crush with a kid, maybe a little sister or something. And I like the realism of having character creator in the space that the character is currently. So it seems like you're able to pop in and out of character creator probably pretty easily, which is interesting. I wonder if you can change any of these things over time. We're mostly looking at personality stuff right now and not the appearance stuff. If we dive in a little bit, it looks like up here, there's quite a few different things. I'm wondering if this is like music so you can change the music or anything like that. But this looks like family tree kind of stuff, genetic kind of stuff. I'm wondering if you can like pick the genetics of the para. It's interesting. So we have like only certain amount of points that you can put into four different categories, which is physique, mind, creativity, and charisma. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points that you can add. Um, to the groupings here. And then for vibe, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight different vibes. The vibes include overjoyed, grumpy, gloomy, energetic, serious, anxious, peaceful, and jester. I like that in combination, this is going to give the like landscape of the character. There's not a ton yet, but I do like that you can kind of pick a couple different things. I also noticed throughout that when she did pick, I think, serious for the social perk or something. No, no, she picked serious for her vibe. I noticed a lot of like serious vibe interactions popping up, which was very satisfying to see like where the personality comes in to the game. For social perks, it looks like you can choose like good at being alone, good at making friends, good at taking care of others, good at romantic relationships, good with family or good at cooperation. Yeah, I feel like that's that's pretty interesting. The social perks are different than the vibe. So you could be serious, but you could also be like really good with family or something. You don't have to necessarily be a loner and be serious. Although there's not a lot of options within each part, I think that it gives you like plenty of different personalities to choose from because they're all connecting and collaborating together. And then for talents, I'm curious how all these function. The social perk and the talents. I definitely saw her interacting with music a lot. I'm, I'm curious about the good of taking care of others. I didn't see that one as much. But for the talent, we're seeing jack of all trades, music, fitness, food, technology, and visual arts. Good at nothing. <laughs> That's so sad. There's an option. 
option for good at nothing. Oh my goodness. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then we obviously picked the music one and then we got the bill paying. We're seeing that on the upper right here. I think that's how much money the para has, but it's, oh, unemployment benefits. It's a hundred dollars, but oof, that's pretty rough. This is your bill for the last seven days. Ooh. And then over the job postings, we have a rank 13 job and rank one. We saw her go, I think, up to rank three during the gameplay, but she's not qualified to be a cook. Application points five of 12. Oh, okay. So there's like certain skills, I would assume, that you have to have that are required. Entry-level jobs require less application points. So I'm assuming application points are just skills that you have. Starts next Wednesday. Okay. Oh, there's like a puppy bowl outside the coffee shop. We see at the end of the day that she worked one day and got a kind of a promotion or an upgrade of sorts. Then we can pick like a rank two upgrade job rank. So I'm assuming that's like a promotion. Level up her customer service and it adds more money or listen to music while working, which helps with her music knowledge. I like that you can kind of choose three different options here. That's kind of cool of like how you want the story to unfold. And then, oh, look at these. They all look like little post cards or like little stamps. We're in build mode right here. So I'm assuming maybe it's like different types of things we can do. I don't know. We're seeing build mode, looking at the products. We're adding that. And then when you click back on her, you go back into live mode. Interesting. I love this like little window into her bedroom. It's kind of fun. And then we see her skill progression. She's progressing in multiple skills, which is fine. So there's like an overall skill for music. And then there's a specific guitar skill. Music knowledge. Oh, so music knowledge is a different skill. That's cute. I like that. I'm wondering how many different types of skills they are. Cause that's kind of like a sub skill or like separate skills. I like that. I think that it said something about how music knowledge helps speed up learning in any musical skill. I think that's really clever. I noticed that in The Sims where like, you're really good at guitar, but then like, you don't really pick up much more on piano unless you have like a bonus to being a kid and having that skill bonus from being like a creative kid or whatever. So that's fun that like, you can develop certain overarching skills like food, fitness, technology, visual arts, repair, and that's going to have sub skills. She doesn't seem to like move around while we're in this kind of upgrade. And she wants to make new friends and she's hungry. And she walked over here and we're gonna interact with these new friends. We're gonna talk with them. When doing interactions as a group, the together bar fills up. So it doesn't seem all that individualized if you're doing like multiple conversations between the paras. You're talking to both paras simultaneously. The one thing I hate in the Sims is when I'm trying to talk to one Sim and then like somebody else comes in and tries to talk with us and I'm like, you're ruining the moment. It seems like that's not happening in this. this other para over here, this guy is just sitting at his table minding his own business, which I love. Learn about the townies that you meet. Oh, they're still called townies. Music programmer and composer. I wonder if you click on them, if you get to see like more of their information thing. That's cute that when they were walking by, she waved to them cause she knew them. They become friends, offer something to eat. The choice of together cards depends on the context of the conversation. Oh, and fun. I wonder what that was. Is it like how much fun you guys have as friends? I don't know. This is so cute though, the build. The pillows and the blanket, like come on. And the egg rug, girl. Upgrade your personality as you play. So that part's really interesting to me. That's gonna make it very fun to like learn. Oh, for her serious vibe, okay. You're unlocking new vibes. Daydream, they could all daydream together. Little group daydream. I need to use the bathroom soon. So it looks like they just come up on the side here. I love the vibe of this gym. Can I go there, please? And again, it seems like the way they showed it, I said this before, but I'll say it again. It seems like when the way they show this is that she already wanted to talk to Carl before she'd ever like talk to him. I wonder if you could, and it doesn't show that you can click on him and be like, notice him or something. So I wonder, there has to be something about the para that automatically like has an attraction system and like notices a different para that they might be attracted to ahead of time. I don't know how that system works. I wish we could see like a little bit more of that or even just an explainer. I think they're probably doing more content around this soon. So I'm sure there'll be more information. I love this area though. Look, it's also vibey. All the little towels and workout equipment. Everything looks so cute. Look at them doing it together side by side. They want to flirt. 
I wonder where the flirty comes in. Is that just in her relationship with him or her as a para herself? I'm very curious. Here we go. We can see all the relationships here in this bar. So this is all the paras that she knows. Oh my gosh, why are you not setting up with Jason though? Gorgeous, okay. I like mustache man. Mustache man has my whole heart and soul. Okay, so we can see Erica is a level one friend, a level two guitar buddy. I don't know what that means, a level one neighbor. So they live near each other. So they have different labels and then it looks like there might be also info about Erica that we can also look at. Friend and then level three neighbor with Sam. I wonder what that means. Secret crush, former classmate. That's so cute. Oh my God, this story options are endless. And then Sunday, Anissa invited Carl over. They had some romantic ramen and some pie over here. And we're impressing him with our guitar prowess. It looks so like it was, we were at guitar level 12. I wonder what the highest skill is of the skill trees here. Be surprised by initiatives from Townie. So that this part is the coolest to me that they were like just chatting and that he knows she likes music and that he works at a high school and looking for a music teacher. Brando Sims will be like, oh, do you want to join this career? And those pop-ups happen. But like, I don't think those Sims actually work in those careers in the game. I'm wondering how this para, like if he truly does work at a high school and will like offer high school jobs that are appropriate to people that he's close to. I think that's so neat. I also love the yes, no emotion is the serious option. <laughs> I like there's two different ways to say yes. I wonder how they change how the interaction happens. Does he take it differently if she says no with no excitement? One week later, I love all the different, I love this para man. I see him in almost every shot sitting over here, maybe working on a tea or a puzzle. I don't know. He's just vibing in the background every time. Okay, flirty is level three, fun and friendly. I'm assuming these are relationship statuses with that other para. So they've like built that up a bit. And so then depending on how much you've done with these different interactions come up. This is interesting. It's not like you have like forever amounts of interactions to choose from. You normally only have three. It's a little pared down, but I do think they're more specific to each moment, which is exciting. Joke about bad coffee, cute. So romantic. And then there's just them chatting on the street side. Okay, cool. I wonder if there's any last things that I might have missed here. We're checking out. This pair just seems to be vibing in the background, I'm not doing a lot. 2025 early access release. Pair lives will never have paid DLCs, only free expansions. Oh my gosh. Wow. Support on Patreon. There's so much more to paralyze that they've already revealed the tattoo skin tones, new townies and everything and like a house building. You guys should just definitely go check out all of that stuff if you haven't had like a big Paralives deep dive. Their YouTube channel is just Paralives. They have a lot of this stuff like an overview. They've got their soundtrack here. They've got, oh, they have autonomy and death. Okay, wait, maybe I need to be doing a deep dive into all the things, advanced placement tools. It looks like you can kind of like, I did see that before. You can like kind of tilt things this way and that way. So much. I'm pretty excited about Paralives. I definitely will be playing it when it early releases in 2025. What are your guys' thoughts, questions, concerns about Paralives? Would you be playing it? Are you interested in it? Or are you a ride or die Sims fan? I think what interests me most about Paralives is that it's made for simulation game players by simulation game players. So I can tell that they know a lot about the community and what they prioritize and have been looking for in a game. They even give up a lot of updates on their development progress, what they're working on, their roadmaps. You can see like all the different things that they've been adjusting. So it's clear that a lot of love and work has gone into this game. I'm just very excited for the team and I'm very honored that they reached out to me with some exclusive content to share with you guys. I knew you guys would love to see it. So I dropped everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know your guys' thoughts about Paralives and whether or not you want to play it in the comments below. Anything that you're excited about Paralives that I didn't mention, comment that as well. Let's start a conversation. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.